How you doing? Mr. Gallagher here again. I got a request from some of my students to do uh, a, an equivalent fraction test and then how to find out if fractions are the same size. And we're going to do that using the uh, common denominator kind of approach. So let's do the equivalent fractions real quick. Uh, we'll take like, um, I don't know, let's take a half. Why not? Half and um, 47... 94th, something like that. Okay, uh, are they the same? I don't know. Uh, so let's see. One, I'm going to use the cross multiplication approach. So I'm going to cross multiply. I'm going to take this numerator, multiply by this denominator, and then I'm going to multiply this denominator by this numerator, and that will tell me um, if they're equivalent fractions, if they're the same. So 2 times 47, well, 47 times 2 is 94. And then, 1 times 94 is 94. So are these two equivalent fractions? They are, in fact, equivalent fractions because those two numbers are the same. So another way to write 1 half is 47 94. Who'd have thought? Now, how do I know which fraction is larger or smaller? Um, I'm going to take like 3 fourths and I'm going to compare that to, um, I don't know, uh, 12 sixteenths. Something like that. See what it work, what, if it works out. Okay, well, what I'm going to end up doing is, am I, can I bring this down to this, or can I bring this up to that? Um, you know, that that's the idea. Is whatever, I need to find out that, I need to make this denominator the same as this denominator. So how can I do that? Well, if I, multi, I know 4 times 4 is 16, so I'm going to take this, and I'm going to multiply it by 4, and then I'm going to multiply that by 4. So... 4 times 4 equals 16, so and 3 times 4 is 12. So this is, 3 fourths is also equivalent to 12 sixteenths. So in this case, those two are equivalent fractions. Okay? So another way to find equivalent fractions, I guess. Um, so one last quick thing we'll do is finding, a, like I said, that's a good way to find the common denominator. Remember, whatever you do to the bottom number, you have to do to the top number. Um, so let's take some just some randoms. Um, like five eighths is five eighths larger or smaller than uh, three fourths. I like three fourths. I don't know. I keep going back to it. But... Okay. So I'm going to compare those two numbers. Well, um, can I multiply? How do I get to an eight? Can I bring this five or this eight down to a four? If I can divide by two, and I know that'll work, but can I take a five and divide a five by two? It won't work. So what I can do then is I can multiply this by 2 because I know 4 times 2 is 8. So that gives me the same denominator as this. This is going to stay the same. And then I multiply 3 times 2, and that gives me my 6. So 3 fourths is equivalent to 6 eighths. Well, how does that 6 eighths relate to 5 eighths? So is it greater than, less than, or equal to 6 eighths? Well, the numerators, the denominators are the same, so this just means that I have more of the denominator, right? So I have, in this case, I have 5 out of the 8, in this case, I have 6 out of the 8. Well, 6 is more than 5, so the larger piece is 6 eighths, okay? So again, that's finding, it's comparing fractions using the common denominator approach. Okay, thanks.